Okay, welcome. So we're going to create a simple hexagonal thinking digital template here inside Google Slides. And the first thing I did was just create a blank slide and I changed the sizing of a little of it a little bit to be 15 inches by 10 inches, but you can do it on any size you want. Then you're just going to go into insert and click shapes and choose this little number six, the hexagon. You can drag it in, you can make it huge but you probably won't you'll make it kind of medium or on the small side and now you have the sort of core piece for this activity you can change the fill color you can make it any color you want you can change the outline or get rid of the outline make the outline as thick as you want so there you have the building block of a hexagonal thinking activity now you're going to duplicate it so it's under edit duplicate and you can see the shortcut is command d so you can create a whole bunch of them by pressing command d right and you can keep them all one color or you can go in and change their colors now you're just kind of going to set these in here your students will be able to move them around however they like um, but you want to give them just the building blocks looks cool doesn't it and you can decide how many you want to use. You may add more once you start brainstorming your terms, um, or you may get rid of a couple hexagons if you find you don't actually have that many terms. Now, just to give you a sense of what this would look like if I started to adjust the colors, um, I prefer for the hexagons to be different colors. I think that looks nice, but of course it's up to you. Ooh, I don't like that yellow. Okay, <laughs> then you're going to start to put in your text boxes. So each term that you want to use needs to be in its own text box. So let's say I'm doing um, 1984. I'm going to put 1984. I want it to be a little bigger than that so that it really shows up in the hex. And maybe I want to do a highlight color for it so that it shows up more. <laughs> Um, and then you're just going to repeat that step, right? You're going to create a whole bunch of little text boxes. This time I'll do Winston, character from 1984, bring the size up like I did before. And then I'm going to highlight it again. Um, I'm going to do it again, insert text box. This time I'm going to put in McCarthy. I'm going to bring the text size up. I'm going to highlight it again. So you get the idea. When your students come into the Google slide, then you're going to say, you know, they can move the hexagons around. So right away, they're probably going to kind of pull them off to the side because as they work, then they'll know where they want to put things. And they can click the box and just drag it in and then they can use their arrow keys to put it right in the middle <laughs> if they want to like i do and then you know they'll drag in their next one and they'll say oh winston winston is an essential connection to 1984 he's the protagonist he's the one who really tells the story and then they'll grab this maybe come over to the other side. McCarthy doesn't feel innately connected to Winston necessarily, but very connected to the concepts of 1984. And they'll put it in right there. So you get the idea. This is a very um, simple explanation, but it gives you everything you need. You can create your hexagons, you can recolor them, you can change their size, um, you can drag them around, you can create these text boxes that are mobile, you can change the highlight color behind them if you want to. And then students can create their web, they can drag and drop, and then you can decide how you want to do the explanations. If you want them to be able to create arrows for their expl explanations, then you go into insert, shape, arrows, and you can also give them a few arrows um, and that way they can point their arrows toward connections that they're going to talk about eventually in their explanations and you can actually you can show them how to do this but they can they can turn the arrows so like if their first explanation is going to be about the connection between winston and 1984 then they've got an arrow pointing to it and in the next slide they can create their explanations or in flipgrid or wherever 
So that's just a really simple tutorial on how to create a hexagonal thinking template inside of Google Slides. I hope it was helpful.